New this morning, the Army says a morale issue could be a large factor in the recruitment shortfalls we've been telling you about here on News Nation. In a new memo, the Army also blames the pandemic and an overall lack of interest by Gen Z. Joe Khalil is live in Washington with more on that. Good morning, Joe. Morning, Mitch. Can't emphasize how serious of an issue this is, and it's not just the Army. In fact, we're told that almost every branch except for the Marine Corps is at risk of becoming short of their recruiting goals. And if that becomes a long-term trend, it's a very clear and a very direct national security threat. The why of what we think is going on right now is we've got unprecedented challenges. The most elite fighting force in the history of the world, the U.S. military, now facing an unprecedented threat. Not from an adversary, but from a failure to find enough new recruits. Both a post-COVID-19 environment and labor market. U.S. Army General Joseph Martin says the military is struggling to compete with private companies for young talent. So far this year, the Army short on its goal of 60,000 new recruits by about half. Martin says their biggest hurdle, the pandemic, which didn't allow for in-person recruiting. Recruiters who are going into high schools and on college campuses. And so for a few years, they weren't able to access uh, future recruits. Kate Kuzminski, director of the Military and Veterans Program at the Center for New American Studies, says another major problem, a shrinking pool of people who even qualify for service. Less than 25% of the adult population is eligible, according to military officials, because of obesity, criminal records, or failure to earn a high school diploma. But we still want to maintain those standards. And what we saw with the Army was they considered and, and briefly relieved the requirement for a high school education or a GED. And there may be a morale issue. A survey of veterans and military spouses found a drop in those who'd recommend military service for others, from just under 75% in 2019 to just over 60% in 2021. And military officials say that a shortfall in their recruiting isn't just going to impact readiness today, but they say that if these things continue, a shortfall right now could lag and could have effects decades from now. We're talking about 20 or 30 years from now. So certainly something they want to nip in the bud right now. Mitch, wow. a short-term issue becomes a long-term issue. Joe Khalil reporting live in Washington, D.C. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.